Pluto is a far-off and cryptic, more humble planet that was once a piece of our close-by planetary system. However, recent upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with an amazing discovery. They suggested that this viral world is on a potential brief trajectory with Neptune. But how might this actually work? Also, what might be the results of such a titanic event? Are we seeing a surprising, boundless whimsy? Or is there something else to this approaching divine occurrence? Join us as we examine the potential consequences of a Pluto-Neptune encounter. Pluto, a former planet that was later renamed as a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and concentration in the vast universe. As shown by ongoing investigations by leading specialists, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential hazardous crash between these two planets, which could represent an enormous risk to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Yet the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its unusually elliptical shape, wandering far from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more interesting is its tilt, which is shifted by 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is far more tilted compared to the other planets. This tilt and anomaly add layers of complexity to its orbital arrangement. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we would expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question. Why hasn't Pluto crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, Astronomers tried to figure out its unusual path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie fairly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep tilt and elongated shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, amid these complexities, is evidence of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three body problem in space involves determining how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and interact with each other due to their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this problem illustrates how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complex way. The terms non-coordinated libration and orbital precession, along with the VZK wobble, are essential to solving this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is non-coordinated libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is vital in preventing their orbits from merging. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key factor in this scenario is the VZK wobble, named after three researchers, Zell, Kai, and others, who studied how objects move in space. It involves the way three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This gravitational force influences how they move. In Pluto's case, the VZK wobble helps us understand why its orbit near the Sun is so irregular. Despite Pluto's orbit appearing erratic, this wobble helps keep it moving smoothly over long stretches. The VZK wobble demonstrates that, although things in space may seem chaotic and unpredictable, certain patterns and rules help maintain balance. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbital stability, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or veer off course. This three-body problem is essential for understanding how these orbits change as space objects influence each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our local solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars.
Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these steady properties, Pluto's orbit is actually unstable, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over centuries. However, these characteristics of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extraordinarily long timescales. Observing this instability has been crucial. Later automated assessments helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only planet involved. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's enormous gravity is enough to ensure that Pluto stays on a consistent path for extended periods. So perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without encountering trouble. These forces are crucial in maintaining balance and stability in space. Without these factors, the solar system as we know it would be a much more turbulent place. Bodies like Pluto could crash into others or be ejected from their orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is essential. This provides a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the local solar system. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of harmony through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better understand the universe. Figure out our position in the universe. Investigating the profundities of space frequently drives us to defy the unusual nature of heavenly bodies. Besides, Pluto's orbit is an ideal illustration of the flightiness of orbital tumult, which alludes to the fragile reliance of a heavenly body's orbit on its underlying conditions. This is plainly shown for Pluto's situation. This implies that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can fundamentally adjust its long-term orbit. Utilizing computational simulations has been staggeringly supportive for specialists in deciding how Pluto moves in space. These simulations utilize complex math to show how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on each other. By tweaking little subtleties in the simulations, space researchers can perceive how even minor changes can definitely influence where Pluto winds up. In the late 1980s, these recreations uncovered something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like non-simultaneous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, Pluto's orbit can still be unusual and unpredictable. If you start with even a minuscule difference in where Pluto is or how quickly it's moving, its orbit could look totally different after only a couple of years. Anyway, notwithstanding this bedlam, Pluto's orbit remains stable over incredibly lengthy timescales, like billions of years. This basically implies that Pluto's excursion around the Sun has a sort of order to it, despite the fact that it appears to be tumultuous from the start. Predicting heavenly events, especially when they involve unpredictable orbits like Pluto's, is a gigantic challenge. The inherent flightiness of these systems means that long-term projections are frequently loaded up with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future behavior of divine bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive capabilities. These models heavily depend on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small mistake or distortion can lead to vastly different results, making exact forecasts an overwhelming task. Besides, the turbulent nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made gigantic progress in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us of how much we still don't know about the universe. Understanding the gravitational impacts of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit offers valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of every planet can substantially influence the stability and course of different bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists of late raising concerns about a potential crash between Pluto and Neptune? Notwithstanding all these complex forces trying to prevent such an event, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a key figure in promoting cosmology, 
offers a remarkable perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially the interesting instance of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, gives insightful views on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's curiosity about the overlooked areas of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is based on the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He sees the renaming not as a diminishment, but rather as a significant change in alignment with our growing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He used the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The interest in these inquiries keeps space exploration so enthralling. Anyway, in spite of Tyson's confidence, his thoughts on Pluto's possible contact with Neptune lay out an alternate picture. His concerns about the eventual fate of Pluto's orbit suggest that there might still be some mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto crash into Neptune? Or is this simply another moment of confusion in the continually evolving universe of space? Only time and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. We continue to investigate these heavenly phenomena in the hopes of uncovering more of the mysteries that lie beyond. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune crash raises another question about the baffling and entrancing universe in which we exist. The potential for an impact between Pluto and Neptune raises fascinating inquiries about the dynamics of the nearby planetary group, as it challenges regular understandings of planetary stability. That two celestial bodies with such immeasurably different properties could crash is both troubling and enthralling, particularly considering the current relative stability of their orbits. Given that Pluto is located in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field. The implications of such a crash would be immense for our understanding of gravitational interactions and the evolution of the solar system. To grasp the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the composition and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains a variety of elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the super-cold environment of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Conversely, Neptune, a massive gas planet, is mainly made of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, thick atmosphere. An impact between such disparate bodies would drastically affect their structure and behavior, possibly making an event visible across vast distances. What makes this hypothetical impact particularly fascinating is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in maintaining Pluto's orbit, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another critical component. Jupiter's massive mass, strong gravitational field, and gravitational pull provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from wandering too far into Neptune's region. Moreover, Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamics of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. 